Bama Bama. Alice Lama, Alakazoo. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. I'm EZ. And we're here. We're doing Fear the Forge. We're playing some Sega. All kinds of Sega here. I've got the Frankenstein all together. Uh, all hooked up. We got the 32 CD combo uh, thing going on. So yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it real. Uh, pretty excited to to dive in and, and play uh, play some of these. These are you know just I, if anybody you know who's been watching, I love Sega CD. Sega CD is one of my like all time favorite uh, favorite deals. So glad that glad to be here. Glad to be doing it. Let's uh, let's check out. I got that rock and sound from the CD. Uh, that should probably be a pretty good mix of hearing that stuff. Uh, you know, somebody let me know if you think one is too much over the other. Uh, one of the cool things, too, that you're hearing on the Sega CD is I have it all hooked up with a mixer, have it all hooked up correctly, so you're hearing that sound that you just have really... a lot of people have never heard. Uh, you're not used to getting, you know, the extras from, from using uh, the mixers and stuff. I believe if I pull. Yeah, see, look at that. So, yeah, it's cool. I actually have been meaning to do a video on, on hooking up uh, this beast uh, with all the different chords and, and the different ways that you can hook it up because there are a few different things that you can do for hooking up the 32X. Uh, there's a few different things you can do for hooking up the Sega CD. And then there are some definite no-nos uh, to do with uh, with both of them, Sega CD and all that jazz. But yeah, let's like let's let a couple people get into chat. Let's get everything going. Uh, I forgot. I promised I would share the link to a few folk. So let me go ahead and do that, and then we will be uh, we'll be on our way here momentarily. But anyways, hope you guys are all having a great Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Fear of the Forge. Happy Halloween. All the good stuff. Uh, yeah, it was a party time. We had a good time hanging out on, on Dizzy's stream last night. And, you know, I was just ready. Ever since I beat on Monday's classics, you know, I took down Jaws and Nightmare on Elm Street. Dude, I've been waiting. I've been fiending for a little bit more uh, stream action. So, you guys got me. Plus, I, I don't want to close the lid yet because when I do that, it's going to start this bad boy. Paste that in there. Alright. I've done my civil duties. Uh, I feel accomplished, so. Alright, you got me. I'm easy. Let's do another. Let's do a proper, proper now that we, uh, you know, did our fluffer time getting ready. I guess that's just like announcements and stuff. But anyways, hey, welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. I'm Easy. It's Fear of the Forge Month, one of our favorite times of year. I've got some fun on deck planned for you. First, let's fire up. I got this rock star Mandarin. That was loud. Mandarin orange. Uh, that's going to keep me energized throughout here. And also, I, I always forget that they're local to us, but... You know, a lot of people probably don't know about the, uh, so the Lost Coast Brewery does Great White, uh, also do, you know, the Tangerine Wheat, which is a, it's one of my favorite beers, I just almost consider it like a real common one, because it's local, but, uh, it's good. Not necessarily scary, he's kind of creepy. <laughs> so, it is what it is. 
Uh, and that'll be what I am wetting my whistle with. All right, so we do have some bad news. Let's go ahead and fire this up. So I did have some bad news because I really did want to use the minister. Uh, for Corpse Killer here, and I kind of messed with it and took it apart. It, it, it wasn't working very good. I don't think I helped it by doing that, to be honest. I watched the video and I kind of took it apart uh, and just cleaned everything and did some stuff. But it still has the same problem. It shoots like wild, you know, it, it, so I'm thinking that it might be the, uh, the lights. There's like the LED lights up here. And they might have, because I did notice they got kind of, one was a little bit crooked, so. I don't know. I might be able to dig back in there and, uh, you know, fix that. But. So for today, to be honest, if it wasn't such a, a hassle, um, I, I would use it for a little bit. Like I might, I might hook it up here in a little bit. We'll maybe I'll play like Terminator Two real quick. But you, you'll just you'll see like it's got this like you can aim it fairly all right, and then as soon as you pull the trigger, it like it has like it's like a recoil from hell. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty wild. So we'll be using a, a, a stick, an arcade stick here, fighter sticks. Like I said, not not ideal, but I did hope to get down. that minister fixed. Get your booty down here, you poor dumb fool. Dude, this game was always such a classic, dude. I love this. But we gotta jump quick now. Zombie come. The zombie coming. All right, so options. I'm interested. I know it's right here somewhere. Ah. Disorganized. There's that gun. Oh, that is the gun. The other one's over here. I'm being silly. For some reason, I don't remember this from last time. So maybe there will be some gun action after all. We'll, we'll find out. I wonder if I was supposed to uh I don't think that's what I needed to be doing. All right, maybe I should just go back to what I know. I do know that that light gun works, though.
All right, well, let's see what we got. Maybe I'll mess around with some of the gun stuff because I thought I was using the other gun. You crazy fool. Tell you what. Yeah, help me get treasure here. I'll be your taxi. Keep your living man. We want to get big, a hammer cheap like what Arnold got in Hollywood, huh? Good shooting, bra. Yeah, man. Lots of buzzard meat. <laughs> The only thing you're gonna break, lady, is your neck. Winston, I'm trying to talk to the lieutenant here. Has he been telling you about that crazy pirate story? Pathetic. How about the voodoo witch doctor routine? Perhaps maybe you and I are a little bit late. I'm not driving you, <laughs> Miss Daisy, no place. In my bodyguard. I'm driving you, Miss it's Daisy. This is evil business, brah. She got you snookered already. So, Lieutenant, why did the Pentagon order its top search and destroy squad into this squalid little hellhole? Him not just Tuli gas. Him just pulled the trigger. Cool toy. I bet you know how to turn it on. And I bet you know how to do a lot of things. What do you know about this guy, Lieutenant? That was like Necro really Wild bad Dr. Learning. Elgin Hellman, the backroom darling of the Pentagon and the White House. I figured they set him up on a hush hush project on Haywire the plot near the Exterminator. Thickens. I'm right, aren't I? This be blowgun to take out sentries. They tough man. Mercenary fighter. Ah. If you get into camp, go everywhere. Wax everybody. How hard can it be? They already did. <laughs> See, now this is where you don't know what to do. 
I can only go to the village, I can't go to the fortress. Let's go to the village. Your notions of death are all backwards, Lieutenant. You're the one decaying and dying. My soldiers have been charged with the elemental power of nature. So, it ripped them out of the ground. Super funny, Rainbow watching this. <laughs> if you've ever seen Dwarf on Golf or any of the dwarf things, inevitable. that's that's linear death. You can have it in a box or standing tall. Your choice. Leonard Man, I look a little shot up. I like how they do the doom thing down there. What's happening, my man? I know I was talking about it. I, I gotta figure it out. This, so there's, I got it works. I got this to work and stuff, but it, it's like the, I think the lights are. I gotta like take it apart and and do a little fanaticing with. <laughs> well, I am gonna use it. I think to play T Terminator here in a little bit, uh, but it kicks like crazy. The one thing though, after I play this for a little, I need to try it with the gun plugged in. Cause it's, I'm pretty sure it says you can use this gun. So I want to test that out. Unless there's like some other handgun they're talking about. But yeah, dude, glad to have you. I said I got a tangerine. I got some Mandarin Rockstar, dude, going super orange. And a whole like stack of games. I don't even necessarily know what I'm gonna play. Greetings, Lieutenant. Perhaps you recognize these four pieces of human jerky over here. Stop the lieutenant. The lieutenant's coming back for us. And he's coming back for you too, Hellman, you stinking piece of crap. Ooh. The lieutenant, he's something else. Ah! The cud killers are coming, bruh. Them swarming. You can smell them. Atomic deal.
skulls at me. Champions, Warlock, Decap Attack, dude, got all sorts of games. Terminator, got something else, Jurassic Park. you're about to face is composed completely of electrocuted mass murderers. <laughs> Where do they dig these guys up? In life, they showed no mercy. And now, they've really got nothing to lose. I don't know if I should have came here first. <laughs> Yes. Electropassi's got very sick dudes, bruh. Bad dudes, man. Bad dudes. Yeah, bruh. They're the great Babylon Patris now. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Cover me, bruh. I'm going in. Shadow people, maybe I'm not supposed to be shooting, I guess. Hit some. Oh, damn, that's the person I just said I don't need to shoot. Oh, maybe they just hurt you no matter what. They're bad dudes. Oh shit. I don't know what these bullets were, but they were good. <laughs> was the one skull <laughs> too many too bad <laughs> i know
I wonder how I did on the high score list. See, I feel like there was another place I could have gone, or I guess I could have went back. If I thought, if I was feeling... Because I know that there's a, there's a place that you can get life and stuff. regular controller or not. I feel like I was starting to get it there at the end. Damn, dude. Catherine C, use a gilla. See, they bring up this gun. So I feel like I should be able to use it. But I feel like I might have to have it plugged in. The same light? Like... For, uh, oh, oh, like through the gun? Yeah, I would think so. Um, but it's, if that's what you're talking about. I know you have to hook up so many things. Like, there's not even anything in the 32X, but you have to have the 32X in there because it's like the processor. So basically, it's just like Frankenstein this computer. It's, it's super funny to see. Yeah, I mean, not, as far as I know, unless there's, like, a special, uh, single one, which, pff, I, who would, you know, wouldn't doubt it. I can't remember. Unless my, maybe my gun isn't all that good. Who knows? So let's see, let's actually just do a full reset here, or here. Do a hard, hard reset. See, I feel like this gun, I don't know about the start button. I think I've used it before, but maybe not. here so For some reason this thing doesn't register See, it blows my mind. We'll have to test that out a little later. I don't know, 
know this one either. Slam and jamming. It's like auto stuck on something. I feel like I'm deleting stuff like crazy. There's something, there's just something up with that. Well, now that I may have potentially, <laughs> like, deleted a whole bunch of stuff, let's play. What is my blood? What is a bram file? Oh, this is just all my stuff. Well... Hopefully I didn't have a lot of stuff saved. Delete the whole game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's shoot some zombies, man. You die, Lieutenant. Zombie bite got a poison in you. Winston Crow. Yeah, man. I like your peace, man. Yeah. We gonna party some now, huh? <laughs> I and I not so dumb, bruh. Let's back, man, out with that shooting iron, huh? I tell you what. You help me get treasure here. I be your taxi. Keep your living, man. You wanna get big, a hammer cheap, like what Arnold got in Hollywood, huh? <laughs> Star Wars fan to hear. I got that. I got that Jedi OG right now. Come on, guys. Light him up. Oh. It's not such a bad thing to retreat, bruh. Shows you're clever. You fight again tomorrow, eh? Yeah, you said I'm smart. You made me lose the best footage of my career. Bruh. You're on first watch now. You cover gate. Zombie come anytime. Whoops, okay, I was just checking out the buttons and that is totally... Uh... So I wonder why those guys hurt me, I don't know what's up with that. Apparently I have to use this some other ammo. I 
I could like get extras and stuff. Sled time. See, I don't even know what all this shit is. Gonna get me my armor this time, man. Me great father. Teach I and I to throw Babaku man board. Bones give to I. Picture conjure. Past. Present. And future, Winston gonna guide you to what it is you see. <laughs> and we can't win with air power alone. In any future conflict, we've got. We actually have two copies of it. I can't remember where we got them, though. You are not here on R&R, &R, Lieutenant. You are here to blow my brains out. It's worse than I thought. He knows everything we know and a great deal more. How the fuck do I get out of here? An extinct or long-departed... Retreat is probably good thing. Plenty time to wear on zombie. Besides, I have enough carnage shots. I need more hard news footage to build my story. Take watch now. Next time you should stay a little more close at hand. Gonna get me my armor, die man.
first class. Tony Aliano. Dr. Hellman has done nothing but told us the truth. He's not a violent man. He's a caring visionary. <laughs> I'm at the restart. I don't even know where, like, what part of the game I'm on. things. I really need to learn how to go back and forth because there's there's supposed to I can't there's a way that you can go to certain levels or like do those watch things and I think you're supposed to be able to get like extra weapons and stuff. Um <clears throat> and then but you wanna you have to do those other directives because you have to go to the fortress at the end to beat them. Dude, I know, it has been a few years since I played the, I think the last, it's been like two years I beat him two years ago. I haven't played the game at all since, so I was like, a little overcome. you know, I was like, oh man, dude, I'm gonna beat him. And then he, it was just a lot harder, like, I thought I was gonna do, like, sail through it, but he's a beast, dude. He's one of the tough ones. For sure. I really can't wait to play Gremlins. Oh, I came up with another one. I saw another another fun and game I wanted to play on the NES. Winston gonna cut you down, man. But we gotta jump quick now. Don't become. All right. Jump into you it. Ain't no thing. Zombie kill. Winston crawl. Yeah, man. I like your peace, man. Yeah. We gonna party some now, huh? <laughs> I and I not so dumb, bro. Bet you bad, my daughter with that shooting iron, huh? I tell you what. You help me get treasure here. And be your taxi. Keep your living, man. We wanna get big, a hammer cheap, like what Arnold got in Hollywood, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like Arnold does in Hollywood. Looks like something. Hey! 
Give me swine! I'm not dead! PT. Hi, Julie Barnes. Journalist. She read my stuff. Syndicated. But when I break this story, I'll be... have a book, late night talk shows, TV, the works. The only thing you're gonna break, lady, is your neck. Winston, I'm trying to talk to, to the lieutenant here. Has he been telling you about that crazy pirate story? Pathetic. How about the voodoo witch doctor routine? Perhaps maybe you and I are a little bit late. I'm not driving you to Miss Daisy, no place. <laughs> driving Miss Daisy. Daisy. This woman is evil business, bruh. She got you snookered already. So, Lieutenant, why did the Pentagon order its top search and destroy squad into this squalid little hellhole? Him not just too legal. Him just pull the trigger. Cool toy. I bet you know how to turn it on. And I bet you know how to do a lot of things. What do you know about this guy, Lieutenant? Necrobiologist Dr. Elgin Hellman, the vacuum darling of the Pentagon and the White House. I figure they set him up on a hush-hush project on Haywire, and you're the exterminator. I'm right, aren't I? This be blowgun to take out sentries. They tough man, mercenary fighter. Ah, they get into camp, go everywhere, wax everybody. How hard can it be? Wax everybody. They did. <laughs> wax on. Dude, I feel like they messed me up last time. See, now we're talking, man. Your notions of death are all backwards, Lieutenant. You're the one decaying and dying. My soldiers have been charged with the elemental power of nature. It ripped them out of the ground and stood them up. Eternal death is inevitable. You can have it in a box or standing tall. Your choice. Elman Fupa, crazy man. Village got dead boys. Plenty tough. You're gonna get powerful man bone there. Maybe two to stick to. Yeah, so there's some other bullet I can use. I wonder why I would have to go to the swamp first, but... I feel 
like going to the fortress right now would be too much. Perhaps too much, too much. Recognize these four pieces of human jerky over here. Oh, see, I think that's what maybe Mr. C was talking about too. We had a, a quick conversation, but. It's like after I beat this, I could go to the fortress, or I could go back to the village, and if I beat the village without taking, like, a lot of damage, I could get some life and stuff. Because I think you get those little camps at the end. The gun killers are coming, bruh. Them swarming. Could smell them. Atomic peel. Zombies so vicious. Got it. Why? Okay. Leonard! I got the tour what's happening, man, dude? It's Please. good to see you. I know that's why I was telling everybody if you are unfamiliar. Can't afford to lose your roster, man. <laughs> if you are unfamiliar, the antagonist in this is uh, Leonard from the uh, Dwarf on, you know, series. Dude, do I want that 19 life or some badass bullets? I think I always want full life, to be honest, because I don't really know how to use the bullets that well, but... Dude, yeah, dude, glad you're here, man. I just, uh, well, almost done with this, but uh, we'll be moving on to some other fun. Dude, I gotta have to ask your opinion. Oh, shit. Hopefully... So back to the village of the fortress. All right. Go straight to that fortress. Hopefully it gave me the thing. And I did not screw that pooch. Lieutenant, the Electro Posse you're about to face is composed completely of electro- Yeah, what do you think? What do you think of Mr. C? So I've got some, uh, a couple of more 32X games before I switch. We could run a little bit of Doom. Maybe a little bit of cosmic carnage. No mercy. Uh, now, I also thought I'd do a couple of matches on uh, Eternal Champions Challenge from the Dark Side. And then, of course, we had uh, some T2, because I was going to mess around with the gun a little bit, but some Warlock, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition, and uh, something else. Bad dudes, man. Decap attack, dude. That's a good one. There's a great Babylon Yeah, dude. I'm gonna, I might, I'm gonna have to reward myself. I was showing dizzy, dude. I got the uh, cover me, bro. I'm going the Jedi OG.
go. Got you. Oh shit. It's the L Dog Break! Dude, I can do that skill. That looks like my house right now. Give one of the lucky ones. Dude, I got some some Jedi OG. I don't know if you saw that, Lance, dude. That's what I'm rolling with right now. That's why I'm so lit lightning fast in my reflexes. Focused. Oh my god, that guy. Associate, Mr. Magliano. Mr. Magliano. Now I gotta fight my own zombified man. I've never played this game this far, by the way. They're bringing the heat. Super bullets don't kill this him, man. Just the first day <laughs> wow, the that was your life. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen the transformation. <laughs> oh, they got me right there. Let's see what all easy did. climbed I'm on the on the top 10 but it's a weak top 10 that's why you got to go do all the other stuff I guess get more bullets be better I must have needed way more firepower to beat that guy he seemed roughly invincible with that being said let's uh let's pop up for this fighting game real quick here just to do a couple of matches maybe see the intro uh, while I refresh my, my Baruski and maybe take some more Jedi powers. Oh man, that was some good corpse killer, guys. That was some good corpse killer. 
Of course, you're here with Brothers Forge Gaming Easy, and that's right, we're playing Sega CD 32X. Sega Genesis, we got the whole combo, the beast out, man. Well, you have, oh, Mr. Peepers, yeah, it's the big, it's Mr. One block to store any hidden characters. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. All right, dude. All right, well, check out this intro. <laughs> I'm going to have to forge some stuff here in a minute. Ramses III, 151 BC, last of the great pharaohs who lost in the river of Tridon. <laughs> that guy got killed. Tridon, 110 BC. Who was making this Hero game? Of Atlantis. I missed. Stealing that island fate when defeated by Roman treachery. What, deep water? You know him? Riptide, 1566 AD. A free boot. Come on, you Jedi magic. On the high seas and die for pieces of eight. Xavier Pendragon, 1692. An alchemist burned at a portal. Raven Ginda, 1802. A mystic healer with control over time itself. Why? Larson Tyler, 1920, an ex cat burglar and kung fu expert, he realized the mob treachery much too late. Taro Yamoto, 1993, a corporate assassin whose change of heart ended her career. <coughs> In fact, Jonathan Blade, 2030. This version, the Sega CD version of Internal Champions, is like and his poison uh, some sort of. It's it's actually I think really expensive, or it's more expensive or something because it, it's how the game was like meant to be, and uh, I don't know because there's some sort of unique style and system about it or something. I, I remember reading something. I mean, it was surprising. It's pretty cool. But yeah, a lot of these games, so we, you know, I, I, we always stress that. It's kind of funny. So not that they had like home run titles. They have some very good stuff, but any platform game, so like Chuck Rock or something like that, you're very familiar playing them. You're like, it's a, it's an okay game. Those games on the Sega CD are like the best version of that game that you will ever play. There's like a, the hook game that's like the Peter Pan game you can play, you know. 
on Sega CD. I mean, it's just like they're. It's amazing what they did. Basically, like gave it that 32-bit feeling uh, in that 16-bit era. Anyway, it's it's amazing. Same for the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast really brought uh, some extra, some extra power and stuff. It's a little noise box, but you know, it really was was good, man. All right, well, let's get a couple of jams in and see what we're doing here. Into a contest. Dude, is this guy the ultimate warrior? Oh, he's like Jax, but his name is Rax. <laughs> I don't even feel like there, there's moves. He just beat the crap out of me. Look at this guy that looks like Blade. It is Blade. <laughs> I think this is actually about... Uh, like those type people. I missed the beginning intro. Was there something cool? <laughs> Dude, F and B is the the jam. I know. I wish I had, I should just sit here and play F and B. But... Attack it is. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I do have, um, let's see, I'll have to find out. One of my next streams is going to be TurboGrafx-16, uh, Splatterhouse, and then I want to play, I think I have Alien Crush. I don't know anything. I don't even know what good like combo moves are or how to do the combos. Well, I never said I was the king of fighting games. 
Uh, yeah, we'll be doing Splatterhouse, Alien Crush, and maybe a little bit of uh, Deep Blue. It'll be pretty cool. Yeah, you thought I was good at some of them, but this one, I am not. Like, look how good that guy has stuff that's so much better. I don't... See, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to build your guy up somehow doing other things first. I'll have to read more into that. But, let's jam down. I'd say I just played this one, but it's another it's an it's another fighter. I don't know if I've ever played it though. On the thirty two X. Pretty cool. But let's jam on the jam here. Jam jam. <laughs> 